Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I am Madden Gaming, and I'm back with another Madden 24 reaction. And this one, we got five things EA secretly removed from Madden 24. Okay, damn, secretly. So this is all under the radar. This is all new to a lot of people, including myself. Man, I cannot wait to see what EA did move remove in Madden 24. Before I get to his reaction, I need you guys to like this video right now, subscribe to your boy if you want more reactions just like this one. And what I further do is jump right into it. And I have found five things that EA secretly removed from the game. Now we know over the years EA has kind of become known for taking things out of the game and putting them back in later, but over the last yeah, that's year they've done a better job of not removing things, at least not without replacing them. Like this year I did a video before the game dropped about five things that were removed from the game, but they were things that they replaced with something better in my opinion. For example, they removed the yard and turned it into Superstar Showdown, which is yep. a better version of the yard. They removed and it looks the awesome. And kind of turned that into Superstar mode, which is more of a bridge between Face of the Franchise and Superstar mode but it's a little bit better than what face of the franchise was however after playing the game for a little bit i've come across some more things that they removed but they didn't actually replace them they just removed them and i'm a little confused as to why they did number one pre-game presentation now of course there is still a pre-game presentation in the game but they dialed it back a i think it's because a lot of people was skipping it in fact in madden 22 that was one of the bigger updates they made to presentation as a whole is that they redid the entire yeah that's right with the flyovers and the American flag. It was cool. The, the trailer was awesome. Players running out and showing the next gen stats on screen. This was all new. And honestly, it was the best pregame we had seen in a Madden in quite some time, maybe about 10 years. You have to go back to around like Madden 11, Madden 12, when they had like some of the best pregame we ever saw. But for a while, it got very bland and they really weren't doing too much other than running out of the tunnels. Santa, who's that? Santa, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> But with Madden 22 and Madden 23, they had the flyover. They had more cinematic stuff. They had more sideline shots. They had players working out on the field. But this year, going into Madden 24, for some reason, they cut half of that stuff out. Some of it's still the same, and they added a few new shots at the beginning with the quarterbacks walking up and some of the cinematic stuff. Which I do like the quarterbacks walking up. Out of the tunnel, they took a lot of stuff away. There's no more flyover. There's no more American flag at midfield. They don't have the next-gen stats before the game anymore either. They don't really show the players warm warming up too much so if you compare the pregame from the last couple of years to this year's it's about half of what it was before and I know some people are saying well I don't really care about that I skipped through it anyway but that's the thing if you don't care about it you can just skip through it anyway but for the people that like to see that I think more people yeah that yeah it would last couple of years and even on it would have been cool I think people would like to even see a little bit more added to the pregame if anything not taken away so that was something I found kind of confusing as they just updated this a couple of years ago now maybe that means hopefully next year that they redo all of that and kind of give it an entire refresh because let's be honest after a couple of years you like to see that type of stuff get refreshed anyway so that the game yeah it just add, it just adds to the immersion but it's a lot of people that don't like it stuff it kind of just feels less pleasing than it was already number two next gen stats now i did mention this a minute ago when i talked about the pregame and how they removed the next gen stats from the pregame but they also removed it from the game entirely when you were on the oh it's not even on the game in the game and time show next gen stats oh, damn. You a big touchdown or you had a big sack or something like that they would show the ball and air distance they would show the speed of your ball carrier on a big play they would show time to sack the qb if you sack the qb quick there was a bunch of different next gen stats that they incorporated and this was added to the game in madden 21 when they moved over to the new consoles yeah i, I remember that but that was one of the upgrades when you went from old gen yeah that was a big that was a big selling point that year but in terms of features there weren't a whole lot of new features features next gen stats were one of the small things that they did add to kind of add a little bit more presentation to the game and i know some people didn't care for it too much it is something i definitely skipped over after seeing it a few times it's one of those things that was definitely cool the first few games you saw it pop up but after a while it just becomes one of those things i think most people skip through just so they can get to the next play but it's one of those things also i feel like if you want to skip it, you can skip it. If you want to watch it, you can watch it. I don't know how many people really like this feature or not. I feel like I guess probably it probably wasn't a lot. Either 
way. It was a nice little presentation touch. I liked it personally. I think it looked cool. Really quickly, if you're still here at this point of the video and you haven't subscribed yet, you might as well go ahead and subscribe, join the family, because you're basically already a part of the family anyway. You're clearly liking the content, and I drop all the latest Madden and football gaming news so that you're up to date. I'm trying to hit a million subs one day, and I'd love for you to be a part of the journey. Number three, crowd celebrations. Now, this is the one that kind of shocked me the most. Crowd Maybe celebrations? The most cover of the game literally shows Josh Allen celebrating in the crowd. Yeah. This is another thing that was recently added to the game in Madden 21 when they went over to the new consoles. That was another one of the small upgrades that they added to the game was the ability to actually <laughs> celebrate in the crowd. So you could essentially do the Lambo leap in Green Bay. But even in other stadiums, you could sometimes trigger this depending on the stadium layout. If the stadium layout was in such a way that allowed for players to actually jump into the crowd you could do that in the game and for some reason that was removed this year oh wow that was cool also a year where they added so many new celebrations to the game i'm not sure why they would remove that one because i feel like that was a fan favorite one now the only reason i think that they might have had to remove this is maybe due to the sapien technology because with the sapien technology it did change the player skeletons and that also goes for the crowd mm, okay they specifically said with the coaches the reason that they're all kind of generic this year in terms of what they wear they all wear about the same thing instead of having their different clothing styles is because with the sapien technology update to the player models and also the coach models they have to actually like rebuild out the clothes for the coaches now because they don't work with yeah them. i do i do remember uh hearing about that one maybe the same thing applies to the crowd probably say that the crowd also is on the sapien technology now. yeah well, that's more than likely why the animations that were in the game where you would jump in the crowd and celebrate maybe those no longer worked and hopefully they're going to put them back in the game or re-motion capture them. That's the only thing I could think because it's one of those things I just don't see why they would remove. If they're so big on celebrations now and they added so many new ones, I just don't see why that one specifically would be removed because that's one of the ones that just should be kind of a staple, kind of like spiking the ball. Jumping into the crowd for a lot of teams is kind of like spiking the ball. It happens very often, especially in Green Bay, for example. So it just doesn't seem like one of those things that would have been removed on purpose and maybe they're going to add it back soon. Now, really quickly, I do want to mention that we are still sponsored by underdog fantasy there are great shout out to underdog also have a very fun pick em game crowd and this also goes hand in hand with the crowd they got rid of the super fans which was another thing that was recently added in what 22. that was another one of the presentation things that they talked about they even had them in the trailer and it was kind of a big talking point that year that every team would have their own super fan in the crowd that they would cut to during wow season. they would obviously stand out and look a little bit crazier than the regular fan they'd be very dressed up with all the face paint on and that'd stuff. be great bro imagine the super fans in college football and the college football Football game was put in just that's gonna be crazy and something that they kind of made a decent deal about for it being a smaller thing they made a pretty decent deal about it they talked about it multiple times and they put it in the trailer i'm not sure why they would just remove that a couple years later when it definitely was one of the small things that made the crowd feel a little bit more alive when you would cut to the super fans and see them in the crowd and again i think this probably is another thing that happened with the sapien tech because all of the crowd is on sapien yeah technology more well, yeah more than likely they kind of of have to redo this now because the old crowd wasn't on sapien technology they didn't have the skeleton and when i say sapien technology i'm not saying that the crowd looks a million times better or anything but the player models coach models and crowd are different they're on a different skeleton and they're calling it sapien tech so because of that i'm thinking that's why it was removed because the old crowd was not on that so in order to kind of get that back they probably have to recreate the super fans again on the new tech and they just didn't do that this year so i'm thinking that this will maybe they didn't have enough time why it's been removed but i've seen some people bring it up and yes that has actually kind of secretly quietly been removed from madden 24 number five on field gameplay noise now what do i mean by this if you've noticed this you know exactly what i'm talking about I'm is it the uh quite a bit do you notice this year when you play the game you don't really hear a lot of the sound effects on the field anymore like when you make big tackles or big hit sticks you don't really hear that collision you just it sounds ah. kind of you notice it, it's hard to unnotice it if that makes sense once you actually are aware of this change it sticks out like a Ooh. sore thumb and i've seen so many people complain about this how something just feels off something feels a little empty on field all of those like sound effects and collisions they dialed those back because they wanted to put more emphasis on the crowd 
crowd noise this year, which you will notice the crowd is a lot more noticeable this year, especially on big plays. Okay, I like that. The fact that they dialed back the on-field sound effects kind of takes away from the Them game. Them uniforms the are absolutely the insane. They said that they did it purposely to make the crowd stand out more, but they said since the feedback on this has been not positive, that they're going to actually bring this back in an uh, update. Oh, so okay. Secretly removed on purpose to bring more attention to the crowd, but since people don't seem to like it, they said that those sound effects and on-field noises will be brought back in an upcoming update. So don't worry, that's one of the ones we're definitely getting back soon. Now, if you want to know the big things that are coming in the first- I did not know pretty much any of them. Maybe the uh, the pregame one, I didn't know. I didn't know that they did cut the pregame in half, but I'm pretty sure it's because a lot of people was just skipping it. For the few that liked it, I think it didn't really- I don't know. I wish they would have kept it, but at the same time, I understand why they didn't keep it. But I did not know about the leaping into the crowd that you couldn't do that. I, I thought you could because like he said, they had Allen in the crowd. He also, the sa uh, was it the Sapien technology? That's that's more likely the reason why. But I learned a lot. I, I did not know about Man 24. Hopefully you guys did learn a lot as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one.